Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to solve a problem facing on one dimensional body, particularly a freely falling body. Let us first describe the problem. The problem is like this. A body falls from a height of 122 125 meters. The acceleration due to gravity C is just acting after 2 seconds. That means it, act, it works only for 2 seconds, then it stopped working. Then, what is the time taken by this body to reach the ground? That's the problem. Let us try to visualize, draw a diagram that what he has given for you. He is saying that a body falls from a height, falling freely. That means its initial velocity equal to 0 from a certain height. But let us talk about the first 2 seconds. He said, Gravity acts for 2 seconds. In this 2 seconds, say in the first 2 seconds, in the first 2 seconds, it definitely falls certain time, certain uh, time, so it has covered some distance. I can get that value using a formula is equal to ut plus half at square, that's nothing but half gt square. It is given in the problem that the g value is 10. So half 10 to square. That is 40 by 2. That is nothing but equal to 20 meters. So it has covered a distance of 20 meters in the 2 seconds. During that process, it also acquires some velocity. Velocity after 2 seconds can be easily measured as using a formula v equal to u plus a t u is 0 a is nothing but g 10 t is to 20 meter per second so in 2 seconds body covered a distance of 20 meters acquired a velocity of 20 meter per second and during these 2 seconds g is acting now let us see what happened it is given in the problem that all of a sudden, the G stops acting. Further, there is no G. It is given that the total height is 125 meters, out of which 20 meters is already over. So, the remaining distance that it has to cover, it has to cover some remaining distance. Na? The distance, the remaining distance to be covered. The remaining distance or a displacement to be covered is out of total 125, 20 is covered, so remaining is 105 meter. And as the gravity stopped acting, velocity remains constant further. There is nobody to change that velocity. That is nothing but 20 meter per second. Now, with a constant velocity, it has to cover some distance. You can again, again use the formula s equal to ut plus half at square. Yes, that it has to cover is 105. u is nothing but 20. How much time that it takes, I don't know. We have to calculate. But there is no acceleration. So, this term becomes automatically 0. 105 equal to 20 into t. So it takes a further time of 105 by 20. That's nothing but equal to 5.25 second. So the total time taken by the body, the total time taken to reach the ground is Initially, it has taken 2 seconds. Here it is taking another 5.2 seconds. 2 plus 5.25. That's nothing but equal to 7.525 seconds. It is covering a, dis covering a distance of total 125 meters in a time of 7.25 seconds. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back to this space for more and more video lessons. Thank you.